Hello everyone, um, this is Megan Hagenorn from the Marks Group Live. Excited to be here today teaching using Zoho Sheets View within Zoho CRM. Um, after this training is over, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject. Please be sure to rate this class as well. It's going to help out your fellow Zoho users and allow us to improve our video library. So here are some of the main points we'll be discussing today. First, Zoho Sheets allows you to modify and create records in a spreadsheet view. So if you prefer making these modifications or adding new records um, using a familiar workbook or, or spreadsheet format, um, this is the way to go. This is really great. We're going to talk about how to access that and what you can do from there. So the columns in the Zoho Sheets view are going to match the view columns in Zoho CRM. You can also work with up to 100 records at a time and you can export um, your worksheet as an Excel file, a CSV, PDF, and more. So let's get to it. All right, so we're in our Zoho CRM. This is just our home page. I'm going to go over to the contacts module and we're under the all contacts view. Um, I think that's that's fine. Um, actually, I'm going to open up the mailing labels view. Okay. So from here, we can select this dot 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 button or more button over on the upper right corner. And we're going to see all of these options here. And down at the bottom, you'll see Zoho Sheet View. So we can open this up, select that, you might see this page. Um, this is just a couple of reminders. Um, I mentioned you can work on a maximum of 100 rows at a time. Um, new columns are not going to be reflected in Zoho CRM. That's another important tip. So if you add a column in this spreadsheet view, it's not going to create a new field in Zoho CRM. Um, and then some other points here. You can read these um, as you go through this on your own. We click continue and that's going to open up the spreadsheet or Zoho Sheets view for us. And again we opened this from so this page will load. We opened this from the mailing labels view so the 46 records in this view are going to be displayed in this spreadsheet view as well. Likewise, the columns that appear in this mailing labels view are also going to be the columns that appear in this view as well. The contact ID, this is a out of the this is a Zoho kind of a back-end record number. Um, they're all going to be different. They're unique to this contact record. It's the contact ID. It's kind of the, the primary key, so to speak. So um, just leave this be. This is how it associates any updates to these records with the contact record in Zoho. So we see Ada Hagedorn is missing some information. We'll say Ms. Her street address. Um, or her mailing address is 1234 Main Street, Gypsum, Colorado, United States, 81637. All right. And all we have to do to have these changes reflect back in CRM is click File, then Save. And we can go back here and refresh. And you'll see that information is transferred over into Zoho CRM. So this is a really easy way to do bulk editing, um, or if you need to work on a bunch of records at once, or even just make edits if you prefer doing it in a spreadsheet format. Um, this is incredibly easy and super simple. You've got all of your normal um, worksheet options as well. You can highlight stuff if you, you know, if you just want to work in a, a spreadsheet format, um, feel free to highlight these things. You can change the text color. Um, 
add strike throughs, etc. All that stuff is not going to reflect in Zoho, obviously, but just for your kind of organization purposes as you're working through the spreadsheet. So I also mentioned you can only work with up to 100 records at a time, so just be aware of that. Um, we can also add a new record or create a new record using this. So I'm just going to red citation, Milling Street. Okay, so we do one, two, three, four, Main Street. Gypsum. And this will be oh, I actually took that as a text and not or a number, not a text. I get rid of that. Change this back to a seven. I just wanted to keep that formatting the same. Oh, okay. Well we'll see if this works. So we'll say Alice. Um, tester two or two, two, and let's see if we can add this new record. We're going to save it, and if we refresh this information, we're going to see our new contact was created. We've got Alice Tester 2, 1234 Main Street, Gypsum, Colorado, A1637. This is all information that we just added in the spreadsheet. So we can also export this by clicking File, Export As, and then you've got all of these options here TSV, CSV, um, actually Open Document Spreadsheet, and then um, Excel Workbook and then PDF and HTML options as well. And again, finally, any changes you make or any new records you create in here, you just click Save, and then you can go back into Zoho CRM and refresh, and they will be reflected. Those changes or new records will be reflected in the view. So to summarize, Zoho Sheets allows you to modify and create records in a spreadsheet view. Um, the columns in Zoho Sheets are going to match the columns that you opened up Zoho Sheets from in uh, the view in CRM. So any columns that appear in the view are going to be the same columns that appear in Zoho Sheets. You can work with up to 100 records at a time in Zoho Sheets, and you can export this information as an Excel file, CSV, PDF, and more options. All right, I hope that you've enjoyed this, video, this video today. Um, please check out our video library for other tips and training videos just like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or how to adjust this class topic, please let us know by emailing at support at marksgrouplive.com. You can also email us for questions about this video or any other um, questions you might have about Zoho at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you so much for joining. I hope this was helpful.